Miss Sarita here. I just want to talk to the kids and young adults and stress to them how important it is to be obedient. Again, it's very important to be obedient. Obedience will take you a long, long way. You see this scar right here? Because I was hard-headed. I was always fighting. I was, I was always doing something negative. But you know what? God had mercy. He had mercy. Somebody prayed for me. And he heard them. And he had mercy on my soul. Because had I died, hell would have been my home. Hell would have been my home. Had I died. Because I was very disrespectful. I was very disrespectful to all of my aunts, my mom, my grandma. You name it. I was very disrespectful. So, I'm only saying what will benefit you if you listen. Um, listen to your mom. Listen to your dad. It's not going to kill you. As a matter of fact, they're trying to help you or do something, you know, where, where you could benefit from in the long run. Y'all listen, kids, I don't know what's, go what's going on. Respect has went out the door. Y'all are like, you can't be touched. I mean, you act ridiculous. You can't whoop nobody. But you act like you think you can. Won't you listen? Please. So you don't want to go through what I went through. Because I went through. What I went through was being in a coma, being in bedroom, having, having to look up at the guys or whoever, you know, I, I dealt with at the time. And, you know, that was embarrassing. I'm laying there in a diaper. And I'm, I'm 22 years old, and and the guys who I used to, you know, talk to, whatever, they were looking down at me, you know. It's so embarrassing. I, I couldn't do nothing about it. I couldn't do one thing about it. I couldn't do nothing but lay there. I couldn't even sit up. I couldn't even talk. I had lost my my um my muscles where I could, you know, speak or whatever. I couldn't do that. All because I didn't listen. All because I was disobedient. All because I was disobedient. Y'all listen. It don't pay to be disobedient. It don't pay. I mean, I really don't. Well, that's all I got to say. I just want somebody to listen before they go down the road. I went down. And don't make it, you know. It, it nearly took me out. I was broken up and everything. But the good thing about that, I was in a coma. Why I healed up, so I never did experience any of that pain. Not saying I would have because I was in a coma anyhow, so, you know, but, I mean, it's ridiculous. And I, I'll tell you about, you know, what I kept dreaming about, but I knew, I, I knew what type of life I was living. I knew it wasn't good. I knew where I was headed. I knew where I was headed, but I didn't know, you know, what had happened. I, you know, I, knew, I didn't know. I had no inclination of what was going on. I want somebody, I want somebody to listen, please.